Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sally and in today's video I need to do a few errands. I'm at Leon's Fabric in Chilton and I want to look at their fabrics to get some white strong cotton white fabric for a project that I'm doing with smocking with my Saturday class and I need to sort out the fabrics for it. I'm planning on getting the tram into Manchester city centre and looking at a couple of bead shops some fabric shops and also making some photography around the northern quarter. I haven't done that for a long time and and whilst I'm there, it would be good to do some. So let's get straight into it. So I'm just delving through this fabric box and I'm just grabbing some of the plain fabrics, some bright colours and I'm thinking that these would work well for fabric slashing so maybe I might do some videos on using these. Wow. I can hardly see the sun's out now and I'm just showing you how crazy the weather is in Manchester a minute ago it was just pelting it down with hailstone and now it's really sunny again so here we are at the tram station just about to head off into Piccadilly What I thought I'd do is take you to a bead shop that I haven't been to for a little while and last time I came here I bought quite a few bits. Um, I'm planning on doing a little beading piece which I'm really excited about and let's see what we can get here. It's just up and around this corner in Affleck's. Okay so that was a bit odd. I went to try and find the bead shop and there was another shop there. Uh, the guy said that the bead shop had gone online two years ago, so it just shows you how long I haven't been there for. 
but it's the bead shop online so I'll probably check that out later so I thought I'll come and just to show you the beads in Fred Alders. I haven't been here for a little while So whenever I go into shops and I see kind of different types of walls, I really do like these chunky walls. They're so soft and some of the colours are brill. Now look at that one, that's kind of got a mixture of multicolours in that neutral colour. And there's some pink. Loving it. And yeah, I'm liking some of that coral wool. And then look at these sparkly ones. Ooh, with some beautiful colours. Love that. A little bit of lilac. Yeah, happy with the range they've got. Ooh, look, that multicoloured wool. There's some more. Tempting, very tempting. That's gorgeous. It's kind of like a flat, kind of ropey, silky effect. Uh, oh, look, dusky pink. And then I turned around and there was a crocheted pillar. Okay, so now we're going to go into Abercorn, the fabric shop in Manchester store and see what we can find. Hopefully they've got a good bee section in the craft shop and I'm going to have a look at some fabrics on offer that they might have. Hi, so we are back and let me show you some stuff I got. As you gathered, um, my phone died so I couldn't film anymore from the city centre and I'll show you what I got. So first of all, from Leon's fabric shop in Charlton, the fabric I went for, the cotton fabric, I got, I paid 24 pounds. Okay, that's for my smocking project. I'm gonna sec. Should we go out? No messing, no messing. And, And also I got this stripy fabric. I thought I could have a go at a smocking design with this. It's brown and pink and it cost me only a pound and there's quite a lot of it there. That was in their bit box. They also had another little bit box which was 10p for little scraps and there was loads of different colours in there. And I thought this would be ideal for doing some fabric slashing. So I got loads of little bits. I mean, look at these. Look at these fabrics. Amazing. Oh, how cute. Beautiful, beautiful. Love those. And some kind of 
lycra type one and yeah just tons of little scraps I got there I just thought these would be perfect for the fabric slashing so that's that and then as you know once I got to Manchester my phone died so that was a bit of a pain but I had a great time in Abba Khan. there were some beautiful different lacy fabrics loads of different colors I really liked of course when you go in there a lot of the time it's kind of priced up per kilo so you just need to kind of work out the prices but I didn't end up getting any fabric but I got seduced by the wool collection in there however I didn't buy any I did see a little bit of lace which is only 40p for all of that so I always love different types of laces and then I got these three and just like little strips of leather and I thought these would be great in some weaves you get five meters so the total amount was seven pounds for those and do you want to see what I got in Primark now at the end of the day I only popped in Primark because you've got to when you're in the city center just a quick pop in I've got a few random bits to be fair so I knew that I needed just um, a couple of different colored basics so they're only like £1.80 each and I've got some black leggings, £2.80 and I saw these for £1.50 You can't go wrong really with pearl earrings, really like those I thought these were quite good for some little gold pearly rings I thought this was cute for £1.50 It's got some like little pearls in there and a little bit of bling it's just cute i also got looks like a toy necklace two pound fifty for this little pearly cute necklace and as i was walking to the till this is a random thing i saw muslin cloths and three pounds and i thought you know what actually that fabric is quite nice to dye so you get three of those and that is my trip for today hope you enjoyed this different type of video and if you want to see more like this give me a like i shall see you in the next video take care of yourselves and i'll see you really soon bye